Hi, just doing a short video about our uh, Bailey Mikado that we've got up for sale at the moment. So I'm getting a lot of interest and a lot of questions. So I uh, thought I'd just show as much as I can and hopefully answer some of them. I'll start by going around the outside and then have a look inside. So yes, yeah, 12 foot long, the body plus the uh, hitch down at this end. Just as I pass it, there's the uh, electrical point in there. There's the hitch. We replaced the jockey wheel last year, so that's all quite new. The um, tyres were only put on probably a couple of years ago, so they've only done a few hundred miles, not too much. I mentioned in the auction that uh, the paintwork isn't perfect. I mean, as you can see from this distance, it looks fine. If I get closer, you can hopefully there see some of the drips that I mentioned. And around the edge, there's, and it's definitely not a perfect show caravan, but fine to use as we have been doing. I also mentioned in the auction, the dings in it that happened from a previous owner when their car door hit it a few times. There they are. I don't think there's much else to show you from the outside really. So we'll go and have a look indoors. I mentioned the door that uh, opens in two parts. You can just open the glass like that if you just want some air in the caravan. So inside you've seen most of this in the photos anyway. Main seating area which converts into a double bed. And I say double bed, these are narrow double beds in this age caravan, but um, me and my wife sleep on that one usually. Under that seat, storage, and that's where the uh, 240 volt electric comes in. And there's one of the sockets. The other socket is down there where we plug our um, kettle into usually. Plenty of storage under the other seat as well. Up there is the uh, 12 volt socket that I mentioned that we use for charging phones. The wardrobe, which I put some shelves into. So we don't really need to hang anything up. We just have a shelf each when we go away. Up there is the switch to switch the uh, battery on and off. Shows you the current charge. bit slow to go up. But, um, well, around that side is the uh, original gas light that I mentioned. Doesn't work but still looks nice and I had thought about converting it to LED at some point, never got around to it. Down the bottom of this cupboard is the battery with the fuses on top. The gas heater which we've never really used. Um, as I said there is an Another one of those included as well, a spare one for parts. There's the long bench seat, which again has a lot of storage underneath, obviously. And that just pulls straight out like that to make the bed. And in that corner, is our lovely little wine cabinet. The fridge, which is a three-way fridge, but it is connected to the gas, but we've only ever used it on the mains. It has been connected by a professional bot. We had that done um, for the gas and then they tested it out. But yeah, then we've just always had mains hookup at site, so we've never used it on the gas. 
and there is a tiny freezer bit at the top which has got a nice cube tray on it the kitchen area this all opens up there's the hobs under there and the sink which the foot pump is down there to get the water to run drain over there a couple more cupboards for storage up there and over this side and above the sink uh, I said in the auction it's got four strip lights there's one there one in the middle and two together down here two of those run off the uh, mains electric and two of them run off batteries off the back main battery so you can still use two of them even if you haven't got mains hookup and the skylight which is just a window now it doesn't open unfortunately right, I think I've covered most things apart from the toilet there's the cover over there and the spare wheel which are included and the toilet is here which, as I mentioned the door opens and kind of folds back so you get some leg room if you want to use the toilet obviously the uh, door of the caravan will be closed so you have a bit of privacy <laughs> and yeah that toilet and we bought when we bought the caravan and it's been used once so yeah it's um still pretty good yeah perfect really all right i think that's just about everything can't really think of anything else to tell you at the moment if you do have any more questions let me know oh wait a sec let's have a see if we can get anything underneath the caravan um there is the um, water inlet and where the um, submersible pump plugs into, which will be included. I have been asked by somebody about the chassis, so yeah. There you go, you can see the floor of the caravan is wood. Um, underneath the carpet inside is wood. It's a bit tatty. Uh, the chassis, and it's Far from perfect, it's a 50 year old van, but um, there you go. And the suspension. And I'll just go down to the front of the van as well. And have a look from that end. When we first bought it we had it checked out and we were assured it was all sturdy and fine which was uh, approaching four years ago now we bought it so. one thing i forgot to mention indoors um before we bought this van for some reason i don't know why somebody had cut along this roof panel here We've just left it like that. There's a tiny bit of cardboard shoved in there. To... <laughs> but uh, it doesn't really sag much, even if you take that out. But um, just thought I should mention it, so it's not a surprise when, if you buy it. There we go.